what's up you guys eat this mystical child here we're going to do a pick a card and a pick a card is going to be something that should make you guys happy because this um group of subscribers i have you guys are a little temperamental i'm gonna tell you you are so hopefully you like this one okay the title is going to be what about you makes the flag raise or what about you makes you get people aroused basically i'll fix the title but that's basically what it's going to be about so we have three pals here this is pal number one not going to show you the box this time once you go off of your intuition with the card so that's pal number one pal number two and pal number three um the timestamp is going to be in the description box and a message box if you're Aquarius, happy birthday. I hope all is going well with you guys. I hope you're enjoying your month. Um, what else I want to tell you? I smoke. You smoke, pull up and smoke with me. I have my good old Indian sandalwood incense burning. So what's up to the people in India? What's up to all my subscribers? But, you know, what's up to the subscribers from India? And pick the deck and I'll be back. Power one, you're up. If you didn't watch the intro, happy birthday. If you are Aquarius, shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to the people who come and visit my channel without subscribing as well. So to my non-subscribers. Um, the topic is going to be, what about you get them going? Okay, so... Once again, the timestamp is going to be in the message box and the description box. And what else I have to tell you? Nothing. Yay, Cupid. What about power one that stimulate and arouse people? What about you stimulate people? What about you stimulate and arouse people? What about you stimulate and arouse people? Gatekeepers. What stimulates people by power one? Okay, so let's see. What stimulates you about people that you're a carefree person? You're very carefree, you're very balanced. You're a person that likes to, um, Take themselves away. You like me time. You're a person that's a deep thinker too. When you're deep in thought, you have this type of authoritative um, look to you. That makes people aroused and attracted to you and stimulated. This is for mature people. This is not for kids. Because children, we already know it's going to be an 18 plus, but for children, they're not emotionally... Um, mature enough or doesn't have enough experience in life to really um, like these type of attributes about a person not to say all young people like this because there's a small percentage of young people who are just naturally attracted to maturity okay so you also um, some people in this group because this is going to be different females because it's four different females two males so it's going to be a, um a various amount of descriptions coming out so it's, this this pile should be like um what can i say a gentrified i say that gentrified collection of people here so there's <coughs> excuse me my ginger candy just choked the fuck out of me Damn it. 
as I was about to say this too, the Three of Wands is a female or a male that's very sporty, likes adventure, likes to be, um, yeah, they crave adventure, they crave um, spontaneity. This is a fire sign. This energy is a fire sign energy. So you are very, you like dangerous things. You don't mind danger that turns people on. I was about to say men, but it could be for women too. I, I'm, I'm just going to try to say people. Let's put it like that. So this turns people on that you are very endearing. And as you're endearing, you're very balanced as well. And you have, um, what can I say, um, spiritual gifts that turn people on too. Because the temperance is a representative as a earth angel. So you are spiritual. And then you have the king of cups here too. Somebody that's balanced and mature emotionally and spiritually. You're very detached too. You can be very detached. You can make analytical thoughts, which is good. You're a visionary. You stand in your power. You will cut somebody's throat without thinking twice about it if you had to. And on the flip side of that, you're very carefree as you like to have fun. You go to parties. You like to enjoy yourself. You like music. You like having... Um, you like outdoor parties too. You can be very wild. You have a wild side to you. So people like that about you. Now, even though you go through heartbreak, you still balance yourself. That's very attractive to people as well. Okay, so now that we have gotten that side to it. This deck is a sexual deck. So this is where the 18 plus comes in at. Okay, so what about the Knight of Wands? About power one that stimulates or arouses people, get them going, gatekeepers. What about this Knight of Wands that stimulates people and arouses? Wow. You look good bent over. You have a good, um, a good ass. They like your ass. Um, a female, I will get to the men, but to the females, you're a female that's very comfortable with your body. You don't hide your body during sex. And you get down to the, get down. Like, you're down for business. You're not, you're not there for play when you're sexing. It's not playtime. And you have a nice body as well. You like to take control of men too. Men like that when you take control of them. <laughs> you have men competing for you. Like men line up for you. Not to say this is the type of work anything you do, but men line up for you. They want they they want they share and want the action. You have people falling over and tripping over for you. Yeah, you good at riding people, whether it's a quick um quick um thing that's um like a, a quickie or you taking your time with them. They love the way you ride them. You're very attentive. You're a very attentive person. And you have a nice body. Whether your breasts are big or small, you have nice breasts. So, that's about the king of wands. What about the queen of wands? Wait, hold on. Let me see something. For the men and his pal, the, what the women like about you, that you... um. You, you, you not the type that just want to, well, depending on who the female, if you have feelings for the female and she turns you on, you'll be very attentive to her as well. You very, in, yeah, you, 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 how can I say? You multitask when it comes to females. You're not just set on one thing. You know how to multitask and really stimulate a female. Certain men in this pal can come across as shy. But you know how to loosen up with the right female. Yeah, you kind of uptight, but you know how to loosen up. The right female could get you to loosen up. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. What turns this Queen? What? What about the Queen of Swords turn? 
people on, get them aroused, get them stimulated and going. You take control. Like I said before, you're very analytical. An analytical person, a person that's a sports person, they take control because they don't really have feelings involved. You're about pleasing yourself. Of course, the, the person is going to get pleased, but you take control and you're going to please yourself, which means you get caught up in the act of it all. Like when you ride in a man, you get caught up in an act that you all about your pleasure. You just kind of detached and you all about your pleasure. And you your breasts are pretty big as well in this group. They'll, they'll, the big breasts are more than a small breast. So they're small little breasts, perky breasts too. But the big breasts, you have a nice set of breasts. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. What arouse, what about the Queen of Swords get people aroused? Gatekeepers. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Okay. The Queen of Swords, you like 69. You don't, yeah, you very open with your sex. And I can see this because swords on the flip side of swords is um, wands, that, which is like fire, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So, yeah, you become very, very entertaining when it comes to sex. You like 69 position. You like to cook when you're naked as well. You're very free with your body. You could come across like in public. Like, you very regal and you very um, prim and proper. But you also have a side of you that is naughty at the same time. Like, you'll wear a dress with a slit that's way up here and be like, Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, you see my panties? Well, you don't have on any panties. You don't have on any panties. You like to cook after sex, too. During sex, after sex, it doesn't matter. You're good at baking, too. And men just look at your breasts and get mesmerized because they're big and perky. They're very big. They just get mesmerized with you. That stimulates them. That turns them on. And when I say you come across as prim and proper, that really makes them want to really like tear your clothes off of you. You're very playful. Extremely playful. And then when I say you're comfortable with your body, you don't mind sprawling out. Especially when you're getting pleased. Yeah. The men in this pile for this for this queen of um, swords, the men in this, um, under this energy here, just in general, the men, you could take it in general, but when under this energy, if you're dealing with a female with this queen of swords energy, you guys get lost up in the play as well. You like to play in their in a, um, pubic hairs. You like to straddle their breast. And the men, in, like I said, you like 69, so the men definitely likes to... Um, Give head in this um in this reading. You like your sex balance too. You you like to be pleased and you want to be pleased. That's cute. Why the deck close? Normally when the deck close, I can't get no more messages, but that doesn't make no sense right now. Tell me about the King of Cups. The King of Cups like back shots. He like to take it slow. Like most water signs. Water signs like to make love. This King of Cups man, it could be a female too. They like back shots. They like females to play with themselves while they um, actually pleasure in a female as well. And there's this energy, very playful. Whether you're a man or a female, you're very playful with your partner, which means you like to connect. Most water signs like to connect with their partner. So, yeah. Very playful. Tell me more about the King of Cups and what um, turn... Wow. You like open sex. You will have threesomes. You're very open. You're very playful. This could be a hidden thing, though. A lot of people probably don't notice about you that you're so kinky that you will have um, third-party sex. That you like women. People don't probably don't know that you like women. You don't like you like you like third parties. And if you are into women, you like women with, like, nice bodies as well. 
And it seems like if you are in a third party, you play more with the female than the male. And that turns him on too. Yeah, that really turned him on. Tell me about the... You play hard to get too. Some of you guys play hard to get in this pile. <laughs> you play like, no, no, I don't want it. As they taking your clothes off. And the man is just like, he's trying to coax you into doing it. As he's sneakily trying to take off your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that turns both of y'all on because you could you could tell both of y'all getting turned on by that. There's an innocence with females in this pile too. You like to have sex outside, and you like to have sex that has a little danger to it. I have to go. I have to go to other piles. Yeah, you like sex that's a little dangerous. Again, you like threesomes. Some females in this pile like um two men. They don't like women, so they'll take two men. And you like to have sex on swings too. Why are you getting um getting head or giving head? You like to have tell me about the three of wands energy. What turns men on with this three of wands energy? You like giving oral sex. But this is like um same sex. It's a bunch of oral sex that turns on um people. Tell me about the three of wands. You isolate yourself, too. You like to be secretive and mysterious alone. You go off by yourself. That's very mysterious. You see these two cards? Going out at night for hang time and in a field. People think about giving you head. Out in a field while you're out there by yourself. They really do. Anything else about the three of wands? This is some spiritual leaders, too. These spiritual leaders is in this pile, too. Y'all little freaky, too, y'all little spiritual leaders. Y'all on the low doing things y'all shouldn't be doing. Have the nun over here with the um with the deacon or with the um pastor or whatever. Y'all sneakily doing what y'all do, getting sneak head and all of this. You sneak squeezing the ass while y'all passing each other. I see y'all spiritual leaders. I see y'all. You like to pick up, they like to pick up women too and carry them away. Like they, they stealing them or something. Like a little baby. Women, if you lose your legs and you can't walk anymore after having sex, orgasms and stuff, they don't mind picking you up and taking you away. Tell me about this temperance. This is the last card. I gotta go. Yeah. The temperance, this man, he like younger women. He like to dominate them too because they come across innocent. With no panties underneath their dress and stuff like that. Them they want to take time with. They want to make love with them. Caress them. Suck on their breasts, their stomach. Stimulate their pussy. Yep. And then they want some head too. They don't want it to be easy. They want it to be a little rough. If you have gotten something from this, I appreciate if you like and or subscribe. Till next time. How to, you're up. The timestamp is going to be in the description box and the message box. If you're a Cap, I mean, not a Capricorn. Maybe a Capricorn has something to do with your pal. If you're Aquarius, happy birthday. Hope all is going well with you. And if you didn't listen to the intro, what's up to all my subscribers? This is about what turn, what about you turn people on and arouse them? What about how to arouse people and stimulate them and get them going? Gatekeepers. What about how to that turn people on? You very competitive. People fight over you as well. You call judgment. You 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 don't have no qualms in calling judgment. You don't take no shit from people. You look good. You smell good. You opulent. You have your shit together. Everything is together. You look like you kind of like royalty. This this the females in this. You grounded, like I said. You grounded. You look like you have your shit together. So that alone is going to stimulate a man. You very um. Impulsive. When you go after something, you go after something. And you look innocent as well. You always have this innocence to you. They like that as well. Tell me about the... Um, hold on. You like the finer things in life. You know how to... Um, you say you like the finer things in life? 
you're an opulent type of woman. So that turns them on because you already take care of yourself. You look good. You smell good. You, that's half the battle already. That in itself going to turn people on. And even you, the judgment here is a spiritual leader. Like a earth angel, a form of an earth angel. So your spirituality and your innocence. Tell me about the nine of pentacles that turn um, people on about this pal, pal two, big keepers. Yeah, you see how the dress is? How you in the garden with the dress? And she has a little dress on. It's a mystery. Is there panties underneath that dress? That alone turn men on and stimulate them. They want to know what's underneath that dress. What's let's turn people on and stim, stimulate people? Yeah, see? What's underneath that dress? Is anything underneath there? And both of them on um, horses. So men want to take you away on their horse off to their palace. And yeah, look, that's what I'm saying. They want to take you to their palace, their big old house. Whatever house they you opulent, so they're gonna be you're gonna be attracting opulent people. And you stand in your power. When I say you defensive, you don't play no shit. Look, you stand in your you defensive. You have a nice build to you too. You have nice breasts and you you have you're a nice build. They like they think about getting oral sex from you, like getting head from you. So as they want to take you and control you, they want you to dominate them too. And you isolate yourself. You like to isolate yourself. See what this energy, the spiritual energy, you in a field by yourself, you mysterious to them. Tell me more about the. <laughs> tell me more about the judgment. They think about eating your butt and giving you head. They love your body. Yeah, they like your body. It's all about your body. They like your back. Your back is nice. You have a nice ass. You're very playful as well. Like pile one a little bit. You're very playful. You don't mind giving head too. You're very open with your sex. You're very free when it comes to sex. And when I say you're very secretive, look, somebody jumping out the window, you're trying to put your clothes on. You're very secretive. Look, you're very secretive. Men want to take dominate you and you dominate men. You'll push them out the window after you've been pleased. And men definitely want to dominate you. It's like they want to hold their hand over your mouth while you're having sex. And like they want to take advantage of you. They want to choke you. There's three cards about putting you on a damn horse and taking you away. <laughs> they just want to kidnap you. They want to go away with you. They want to sex you outside too because they know you're free. You're free with your sexuality. And you're wild. You're fiery. Because the Knight of Swords is here, impulsive. The flip side of Swords is like um, fieriness. It's Leo Sagittarius and um, Aries. Some men want to make love to you too. They want to just gently make love to you. Really make love to you. But it was so quick, they're just still going to have their they pants on. But all your clothes come off. They want all your clothes off. Men in, in, in this power want to take care of the females. It's nothing really quick like that. If it's quick, it's still taking time with them. So the men in this pile please the women. And the women too, they like the women body. Even if they keep their clothes on, they get turned on by seeing your body. They're seeing all you, just in, in your bare flesh. They love that. Tell me about the... And most of these men have positions. They like in powerful positions, you can tell. They want you to come behind them and slowly just stroke them. Stroke their penis. Just get them aroused and get them going. You're rubbing all on their chests and stuff like that. Yeah, the man, he, the man is stroke t even showing you what to do to him. Like, the men in this in, in this pile, like, yeah, they sexually experience. Tell me about the page, and then I gotta go. What about the page? This pile is into um, um, threesomes and stuff like that. Why the spiritual leaders? The spiritual leaders has been coming out too. People in this power like that balance sex. They are pleased they mate and they want their mate to please them. And the spiritual leaders here too. I see y'all out there being freaky. Like y'all all uptight and don't have sex. Y'all have sex. Y'all really be having sex. I see it. Men in this power like to have, um, when they like, when, when women riding them, they like to grab on their breasts, their titties, and like pull them in as they control the speed of it all. Yeah. 
They like that. And some men is probably just get lost in the act. They get lost. And some women, they take control. If they want to have sex and you don't want to have sex, they're going to stimulate the man and make them want to have sex. Because his brain off somewhere else, thinking about butterflies or whatever he's thinking about. If you please me, I please you. Some women in this palace serious about that. So if you have gotten something from this, I appreciate if you like and hope subscribe. Till next time. Pile three, you're up. Happy birthday if you're Aquarius. Hope all is going well with you guys. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and the message box. Today's reading is about what about you stimulate men or people in general and get them aroused. What about pile three, stimulate and arouse people? You very grounded. Not only that you grounded, you you like you have money. You look like a person that has money. Yeah. The king of um the knight of um, pentacles wanted to come out. You you you're a hard working person that turns them on. And you're a committed person. When you commit to something, you commit to it. I don't know why this three of um swords wanted to come out. Now they want to come. You see these two? The devil, I'm gonna take them. There go your three cards. So you're a hard working person, you will defend yourself when it comes to people trying to attack you. So you're very fiery and very um yeah, you're very fiery and what was a spitfire. You like a spitfire. And even if you get left out in a cold, you still rebound. Because again, you're a hard worker. You know how to take something and turn it to nothing. Then you have this devil energy, so you already know what devil, devil energy about. You have intoxicating energy. Your energy alone is intoxicating because it's with the devil and the ten of pentacles. When I say you look like money, you look like your shit is together, you look good, you smell good, you have a grounded house, you probably drive a nice car. So you look like of a, per a person of some um, status. And then the three of swords is in reverse. You have the seven of wands. So you kind of defend yourself when it comes to heartache. You're not going to let nobody just come hurt you. That's a turn on. Even if you outside looking bad, like looking down, you still look good. If you out running errands and you're not dressed for the day, you still look good. If you've been injured, your cast is clean. You still look good. So people like that about you. You're fiery and you're a fighter. You also like to daydream a lot, too. Tell me about this devil energy. What about the devil energy likes? Again, this is the 18 plus video. So if you're not 18, get off my video. Um, this devil energy. You like men to really dominate you. You like to be um, you multifaceted when it comes to sex. You like to be pleased in many ways at one time. You like the position like rabbit ears when a man put their leg, your legs up on his shoulders and squeeze on your breasts and just have at you. You like that. And men find you so attractive, like your body looks so good and you're so attractive, they can't even get all their clothes off of them. And they look at you as they have sex. It's not like they look off and have their head somewhere else. They are looking at your body as they're pleasing you. Tell me more about this devil energy. Some females come across as innocent. That wear dresses with no panties underneath them. And even if you're innocent and stuff and a man is older, you stand in your power. You demand your you control. You like, you know, you like a young person that really know how to stand in your power. And if they fucking up, you're going to let them know. Listen, what's going on here? Or if you want sex, you know how to demand sex. What's going on with the devil? The devil want to see you squirt. If you're a woman, they want to see you. They just dream of you squirting and just, yeah, playing with yourself, squirting outside, too. This is a real, <laughs> he, he want to look at you. He, he daydream about this damn um, you squirting. This <laughs> is funny because <laughs> he really daydreaming. He have his hand behind his back and all that just watching you. And you look like you don't even know that he watching. Or you don't care. Because you looking back at, it seems, somebody else or something else. Other men in this, um, in this pile, they like to um, dominate women.
They like quick sex. A lot of quickies going on in here. Yeah, a lot of quick, passionate sex going on. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. What's the like, um, the Ten of Pentacles? I tell you, look, Ten Pentacles, and look at this. They want to pour wine over your back and over your ass and all that. Look at your ass and spank your body and all that. <laughs> this man is playful. <laughs> tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. What they want to do. They like when you get mad at them and stand there. I could imagine like if they're not pleasing you, you will let them know you're not being pleased at all. You like sex from the side too. You like a man that can have sex with you and play with your pussy, do many things at one time. You like to multitask. You like dangerous sex too. Sex with a little danger to it. Like, prime example, if you have sex with somebody and there's a risk of somebody catching you, that give you more thrill, that turn you on more. And you, you like to have sex outside too. You're adventurous with your sex. Men can't get enough of your body. Even when you're leaving them, they have to grab on your ass. They just love your body. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and what turns them on. The Seven of Swords is the devil energy, so the de devil energy is here twice. So I already know your energy is intoxicating to men, whether you're a man or a female. If you're a man, you have to defend yourself from women. It's like you have to guard yourself from women like, whoa. Like, no, we're not doing this today. I need some me time. I can't just... They want you to do this. They want you to... You see the devil defending himself from all the people? The women want you to do this to them. Like, give them so much dick till they tie you. They, you have to carry them off. They just want you to dickmatize them. Tell me more about them. <laughs> it's crazy. I thought a car flipped over. No. Some people like rough sex, too. Like to get banged. Yeah, they like that. I told you, look, confirmation. You like to get banged to where you're hanging off the damn, off, off the bed. I'm not mad at you. I see you. Some people like peeking. To see people coming. Men, this is men. Some men in this pile, women, too, you sneaky. You sneak having sex. You like to have sex where you shouldn't have sex. Like in Aries, you shouldn't have sex in your office, at work, in hallways. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles, you see? A person being left out. This is about a person being left out feeling lack. Look at this card that clarified. You taking care of this one. He about to trip down the stairs. Like he don't want to be left out. I'm telling you. They don't want to be left out. Look, he crying. <laughs> <laughs> After I was gonna clarify the three of swords as somebody hurt, I can't take this shit. If you have got some from this, please like and subscribe. Till next time.